What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Super Mario Bros. movie 5 inch action figures by Jack Specific. Really cool to finally get these figures in hand. I was pretty excited when these were announced and I'm excited for the movie as well. I think it looks really good so I'm looking forward to seeing it on the big screen and interested in what merch they're going to bring in during that time. Whether it's a new popcorn bucket design or a movie poster, lots of things Things will be happening when this movie comes out and I'm all for it but with that being said let's go ahead and start off with their packaging so we're gonna just move these to the side right here and then start off with Mario so uh, we are introduced here with an open window of the figure along with the accessory what's really cool is at the inside you can see like the question mark block the mushroom and then the star uh, inside there and then you can kind of see it here uh, right here to the outside you can see how like the light is kind of shining you know with these uh, accessories here or the items really I would say but it's really cool that you are kind of getting it around the packaging now what I do find a little bit weird here with the packaging is that there's like a chunk of space behind the figure and the accessory you can see there's a ton of space behind there and it's a bit unnecessary really but I think what would have been cool is if they added like another plastic part that came with like other accessories to go behind the figure but I mean it's still pretty cool that these figures are coming with their own individual accessory so outside of that we are getting the official Nintendo licensed product sticker along with a picture of Mario with the Super Mario Bros logo right here you are getting your warnings down here with the Jack Specific logo right there you get the Mario name and it is 3 plus Here's the top of the box, we just get a top view, and then the logo again right here to the side. There is the bottom, here's the side of the packaging, get a picture of the figure, the logo up there, and then uh, another bigger picture of the figure, uh, kind of zoomed in right here. It kind of reminds me of how the Jack's Gold figures are, where they kind of do the side view like this, so that's pretty cool. And then the back, uh, we are just getting another picture of the figure, the logo, Mario, and then right here, it is saying realistic eyes, Premium details and then Mario's getting 16 points of articulation. Now one thing I, I want to add here and I just actually just caught my eye but you see how like with Mario and then like Luigi with their 3 plus they're actually getting their colors here. So you're getting it with like the 3 plus and then you're also getting it the bottom of the packaging which is pretty cool. And then you know Toad and Peach is getting theirs as well which we will get into but let's look at Luigi. So they are getting the exact same style of packaging really except you know of course you're going to get different pictures of the figure. So Luigi is coming with his flashlight. So here's the top of the box and then the bottom which I already showed. But here's the side and then the other side right there. And then here is the back of the packaging and everything is pretty much the same and Luigi is getting the exact same articulation as Mario. So that was Luigi. Up next is going to be Toad and Toad is coming with the frying pan. So Toad is actually getting a blue color this time so that's pretty cool right there. Here's the side, the other side and then the top if you want to look at that to see uh, Toad's mushroom. But uh, here is the back of the packaging right there and uh, Toad is getting 9 points of articulation. So there is that and then finally here is Princess Peach. So she is coming with her parasol. Here is the top of the packaging and then the bottom. It is pink this time. On the other side just getting a picture of the figure right there. And then here it is on the other side. And then coming to the back we get another picture of the figure and then Peach is getting 8 points of articulation. So. That right there guys was the packaging for these figures so let's go ahead and crack these figures and their accessories out of the packaging and take a closer look. Alright so let's start off with Mario first but let's actually do a quick size comparison right here. So here it is with the original Mario figure. So you can see that the body is a lot bigger and taller and it has well a pinch of realism to the figure. So. You can see how that looks. Now we are going to do another size comparison right here. So let me put the Mario figure right there. And then here is a comparison with the McFarlane uh, Shadow of Spawn figure. So there's that. And then here it is with a Marvel Legends Iron Man figure. So you can see how Mario scares with that. So let's get these out the way. And take a closer look at the figure. So uh, the head sculpt right here, it definitely does will capture the realism of Mario in the film. Uh, the eyes is probably is probably the big thing right here. So what they did different here is it kind of looks like the eyes are sunken in 
I want to say like there's an edge and it makes it look like like it's glass in a way like it's very glossy and what I find cool about it and a little creepy is that when you move the figure you can see how Mario there's like an illusion to where it looks like the eyes is following you so even if I move it like this or like that <laughs> you know and it, it, it's just very like ugh, you know like it's just I don't know so like you know like imagine like you know your, your figures are just just you know displayed on your shelf or whatever you, you know you just walk past the room minding your business and then the figures are just like this <laughs> you know very very creepy but I, I don't know but I, I get it you know they wanted to make it they wanted to give it a realistic look to how it is in the film so I understand that but I will say the sculpt and the paint job on this figure is really really good it's actually well done you know the sculpting on the hair is really nice you can see like the lines of the strings of hair the sculpting on the hat right here you can see like the stitching going on the wrinkles around it even on to the the M logo right here or the Mario uh, symbol right there you can see like some stitching right there along with like the mustache like the you know like the threading of the hair which is really nice you also got it on the overalls you got like the front pocket there's the buttons you can actually see like a button right here to sh uh, show like the shirt is like kind of unbuttoned right there and then your collar so just really really nice you can see like the pockets the studs here just all the detail around the overalls is really really nice especially the shoes you can see like the laces right here and then this is actually a separate piece so the soles they got like the details on the bottom of the soles right here it's just really 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 well done the gloves if you can it's a little hard to see because they're very white but you can you know see like the lines with the gloves here um, and then like some wrinkles, you know, they, they definitely did a really good job right here. I, I gotta say, I, I'm loving the way how it looks. I know it looks a little weird because Mario, there's like no mouth <laughs> with this Mario figure. I'm guessing they went with the look where Mario is like smiling and then the mouth is tucked with the mustache, which is why maybe the eyebrows is kind of raised up like that. But it doesn't look too bad to me. I mean, that eye thing is like really like just killing me right now but i'm liking the detail and everything on this figure i think they did a phenomenal job with this one now for the articulation surprisingly the head moves really really well like i usually say the mario figures tend to have a hard time with the head swivels uh, due to how they sculpt the face that's that would be really close to the torso luckily this is actually really good you can even turn the whole head um around if you want so that's really really nice but you're only just getting a swivel there's not mario can't really look up okay that eye is really killing me right now but you know mario can't really look up or down uh there is no tilt really uh for the shoulders hinge to the shoulder goes out really really well it goes out about here so that is really really good uh you know you are getting your full rotation so when i first opened this figure i was wondering why the elbows was only just bending like that i thought that was like okay is that really just it but it's mainly because i had to swivel it to match you know the line of the shirt so now the elbows actually been a lot better so yeah just keep that in mind uh mine was just kind of turned the other way and i didn't really know that but yeah that's pretty much that and of course you can get a swivel to the arm and you know swivel you know to the elbow right there and then your swivel to your your wrist right there as well now for the torso mario does have articulation to the waist so you are going to get a swivel uh there's not really an ab crunch really this is as much as your yeah there's really no ab crunch you're just getting a swivel to the waist and it, it looks like it only it can really just go out to the side like just to the side really because uh, the plastic is actually hitting the bottom part uh, of this so yeah that's pretty much that and then the legs they are actually on a ball joint so you do get a lot of movement with that so you know kick forward about here which is i think is actually really good i think it kicks better than the original figure uh, but you can't really kick back but uh for the splits I mean, it's not too bad really i mean i like that there is a lot of range with the the hips i think that's really really good and you do get your upper thigh swivel which is really nice but you are getting your um you know your single jointed knee right there 
And then for the feet, I would really just say they only just go side to side, really. That's as much as you're getting. They can't really get a lot of movement there due to the pants cuff. Um, and then, you know, there is really no rocker either. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the articulation for Mario, guys. It's really good, in my opinion. I actually like it. I think it's a huge improvement. I mean, there is more articulation there, but I like this figure a lot. And, I mean, it can stand pretty well, too. So, I'm definitely loving this figure. Now, for the hands, you are getting, like, your open hand and then your gripping hand for the plunger right here, which is really just a soft little plastic piece so you just kind of insert it to mario's hand and it um it fits pretty well you know that i think it tucks onto the hand really well so that is the accessory now let's actually do a fun little comparison right here so let's uh compare mario with the the 1993 mario movie figure i don't know i just wanted to do that but it's just pretty cool seeing uh, two Mario movie figures side to uh, side by side right here. So we got that and then another one Let's compare it with the movie Sonic figure All right next up we'll be taking a look at Luigi. So here he is up against Mario So you can see how that looks and they are pretty much about the same same articulation everything along with the hands They're both getting their gripping hands for their accessory and then an open hand right here so there is that and then here he is with the original Luigi right there the four inch Luigi figure and then of course we got to compare him with the 1993 movie Luigi figure so there is your comparison right there I, I know they're missing, missing the belts I I've had those for a very long time but anyway the Luigi figure right here so uh, same thing with Mario they're both getting uh, their details with the stitching with the hats and then the overalls uh you know the gloves which i think is really 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 good like i love i just love the detail here along with like like the wrinkles and everything you got the boots you know the laces now i'm not going to spend too much time on luigi so let's go over with the articulation of course you are getting your swivel to the head you can turn it all the way around if you want. By the way, that reminds me. So for Mario, I was, uh, you know, articulating this Mario figure. And I, I think something, I don't know, what, like something fell in this Mario figure. Because when I shake it, I'm hearing something. Something's like rattling in his head. I don't know if you can hear it. I, I don't know. But anyway, back to Luigi. So yeah, the head can turn. Uh, for the arms, you are getting a full rotation along with a hinge to the shoulder, which... Hmm, that's interesting. It doesn't really go as high as Mario did. Let me see. Yeah, Mario's actually went higher. That's very, very interesting right there. Let me try this arm. Okay, yeah, that's actually weird because this arm goes a little bit higher. Hmm. All right, then. Now, you do get your single joint of elbows along with a swivel as well. And then with the wrist. And then Luigi does have a waist swivel as well. Um, and it is a, a little bit loose actually. It's yeah, it's a bit too loose really um, for the hips uh, Luigi can actually do the perfect splits, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> so he can do it better than Mario really uh, But Luigi kicks forward About right here, and then he can't really kick back But you do get your upper thigh swivel single jointed knees and then along with a rotation to the feet and that is, yeah, pretty much that. Same uh, again, same thing with uh, Mario, but the the hips are a lot uh, better. But I think it's because they're just a lot more skinnier too. But yeah, that's the Luigi figure. And then we can insert the flashlight into Luigi's hand. So let's. Um, it's a little tricky because. Uh, let me see if I can try to. All right, there it is. I got in his hand right here. So there's Luigi with his flashlight. Um, I will say the paint tends to get a little messy where the handle is i'll actually zoom in right there but you can see how the black paint is just kind of smudging all over the yellow so it's not really the best right there but uh, luigi is able to hold his flashlight which is pretty cool all right so next up is going to be toad so here he is with the original toad figure so you can see size right there and then here is toad with mario so here is how he scales with mario right here you can see they're about yeah so it's like about maybe up to yeah like like uh, the top part is like to where his hat is so I'm gonna just say yeah I would, I would say probably like that 
so there is that now for toad i do like the way how toad looks i think it I think it looks pretty good here um i like the detail they have for the pants I, I think that's actually pretty good right there that they add like the nice lines around there. and then you can see like the tied up to the top right here uh the blue paint to the vest is isn't the best the blue is kind of rubbing off uh like or it's rubbing on it's like the orange and then like the along with like the straps of the book bag so it you know it's a, a little not not the best here now i think my favorite thing about this figure is definitely the backpack right here they definitely got everything accurate here uh, i mean you know the stamps aren't gonna have the pictures there are just really colors but i do like how they got like the rope the pickaxe you know the lantern uh you know the straps going around and then the pockets it looks really 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 good and i like how they have the pocket right here for you to put his frying pan there which is really really cool because i believe he actually did have this here um if i remember correctly but that is really really cool that they got that and then you know of course you can add the frying pan to toad's um hand right here so let me just uh it's a little difficult because of how small his uh you know his, his arms are but yeah there you go so you got toad with this frying pan so there is that but for the articulation i mean you know there's not a lot really for toad which i wasn't really expecting much but the head uh you know it's it's actually getting you know it's, it's really just on a small peg but you can get like some you know like some tilts and you know for the head really but you know you can't really turn that you know turn at the head really but uh toad can he can barely really like look up but he can look down just slightly really and then you know you got like your tilts right there you do get your well i guess not really full rotation doesn't really move as much but you know you can barely move the arms right there that's just you know it's not like a lot of movement you can do with the arms and then you get your single jointed elbows which are very very loose actually my the elbows are very loose here and then you know your uh actually wait oh okay so toe doesn't really get a swivel to the hand uh, let me try uh is this elbow loose yeah this one's pretty loose too yeah so the the elbows are really loose here uh the hinge to the shoulder it's very very like stiff i'm trying this is probably the best i can do i'm a little worried because when i tried to move it his hand you can see how the arm was like about to pop off so that's a, a little scary right there. Uh, the hinge for the shoulders, I can't really get a good grip on the hands because of how small they are. Or, well, I mean, my fingers are also really big too, but um, it, it's, yeah, the hinge to the shoulders are really tough for me. Uh, now, the legs, they're pretty good, you know, they just kick up and then, you know, just back right there. Um, I do like uh, that they did something like this. This is actually really, really good. And then the feet, they are really just a swivel. That's all you're getting right there but yeah that's pretty much the articulation for toad you know there's nothing really to the torso or anything that's all you're getting now i think my biggest gripe here with the figure is toad is a little hard to stand there's so much weight here to the backpack so it's a little difficult to try to get toad to stand up you have to like move his feet just a tiny bit and then this is all you're gonna get um, I just hate how he's like hunched forward like this. I kind of want him to be a little bit straight like Maybe this could work. Yeah, I think this could probably work, but I don't know I kind of want him to be just straighten like this. Okay. There you go I think I got it this time, but as you can see when I move him he's he is gonna tend to Want to like fall back. So yeah, just keep that in mind toe is gonna be a bit hard here to stand Okay, so I finally got the hinge to the shoulder right here on this arm and I think this is probably the highest I can get but I mean you know it's it's whatever at least I got it but hey look I can actually get toe to wave so that's nice so you got like your swivel right there all right and finally here's a closer look at princess peach so here she is with her other figure you guys can see the difference right there you can see like the crown is a bit more lighter this time so there you have it and then while we you know while we already have the peach figure let's actually compare her with well of course the rest of the cast so here is mario and luigi and then let me move to the side right here and then bring in toad i am gonna have to uh hold toad since he's a little hard to stand but 
there you go you guys can see how they all stand next to each other so let's move them all out the way and take a look at princess peach now i gotta say i love the sculpt and the paint on this figure a lot especially the hair sculpt like the way how the hair is you know you can see all the details of the hair and then like all sculpted down here uh, the dress everything looks amazing here however i think the weakest part is i want to say it's the face the face is i'm on and off on it something's throwing me off about it and i think it's just because the facial expression they chose i i think they were trying to make her serious i'm guessing but there's something it just looks a little bland and you know i've seen a couple of pictures of how she looks in the film and you know, I think I think there could have been like a, a different facial expression they could have chose. They could have gave her a smile, a slight grin, you know, something. But I, I don't know. There's just something throwing me off here. You know, I I think they could have chose another option here because she looks very bland and she almost looks like a like a, a doll really. Like it looks like I'm just looking at <laughs> like a a Princess Peach doll really. Um, and I don't know really and I even looked up the the render image and for some reason even the render looks slightly better so I don't know what it is there's something just throwing me off here uh, on this figure but who, who knows maybe when I watch the film I'll probably just get used to it I, I, I don't know but you know other than the face I think everything else is pretty nice except for like the lashes it's a little sloppy here uh, on this eye but over here it's it's not too bad and then you can't see her her eyebrows up here um but, but yeah like you know you can see like the wrinkles um you know in the dress here um and then uh you know her her heels of course um so there's that but again i do like the sculpt here on this princess peach figure it's just the the face is what i'm kind of on and off of now the articulation is very limited here which i would assume that i didn't expect too much for princess peach and toad but for the head, you're not going to be able to turn as much due to the hair sculpt. So there's not a lot you can really do. It looks like every time I turn it, she tends to want to like tilt her head here. And I think the other Peach figure was having the exact same thing. Let me see. Yeah, it was kind of the exact same thing where she'll kind of tilt because of the hair sculpt. But this one seems like it's it moves just a little bit here. Um, Yeah, like she can move just... A bit right here you know I think you can move you can get some movement right there uh, you know you are getting your waist twist right there so she's getting a waist articulation for the arms you are getting a honestly I didn't even realize she had a hinge to the shoulder but it's kind of pointless because you're only getting just about there and then down to there you know it, it's very pointless let me try this one let me see if maybe this one's a little bit higher um no they, they look about the same to me so yeah it, the hinge to the shoulder isn't the best you can move the arms of course um they go back uh, really well actually you can kind of have her kind of shrek a pose or something <laughs> uh and then you have your single joint elbows there is no bicep swivel or any elbow swivel um so you're not gonna get any with that uh so it's a bit the same as toad but you do get a swivel to the wrist and um yeah, there is no hinge of course and um yeah that's that's actually yeah that's pretty much all you get there with the articulation of peach i wasn't expecting much i really wasn't expecting much but i i i don't think it's too bad you know you know, i i love the scope and everything on this figure a lot um and also i like how the crown is just like a like a really soft like rubber uh plastic here it's not like how uh you know her old one was where it's just kind of hard plastic i guess it's for like so you don't break this or anything but i think it fits on the, you know or i would say i think it looks fine on the hair all right so here's the parasol accessory that you can throw onto her hand so she can uh sort of grip like all right there you go it doesn't really like want to tuck on to the hand really it's just kind of just there but she can hold on to the parasol which is really nice and i do like that i do like that they gave her a grip in hand because i think the other one was just actually yeah, i have it right here but you know it was just kind of like the other one you just kind of just throw onto our wrist really i believe so you know that was all you really got there um another thing i forgot to mention uh this part kind of bothers me here 
uh, you know, it's mainly because you just kind of get like this gap between here. So it is, I mean, it's a little noticeable. Not like, but like, you know, at least to the side at least. But you can kind of like move her a little bit. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really just that. But I think that pretty much wraps up the review on the Super Mario Bros. movie 5 inch action figures by Jack Specific. Overall, for $20, I think these are pretty solid in my opinion. The sculpt is pretty great on these. I love the articulation a lot on Mario and Luigi. I think these two are definitely my favorite here. Love the attention to detail on each figure. I feel like some people may not be a fan of the height difference since these aren't going to scale well with the regular Mario line. It doesn't really bother me but I can understand why some may feel that way. But I did enjoy the figures and the reviews so I'm quite excited to see what's to come later this year for the movie. And I'm actually surprised Toad is still standing here like he's been falling down multiple times now. but. Anyways guys, that right there is going to do it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think of these figures in the comments down below, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Take care my friends.